when I'm at work, um, I'm often asked questions and I often just say, I don't know. And then I point someone to those who do have the answers. And that's part of being a leader is knowing when you don't know and deferring to a greater authority. Now, there's a lot I don't know and understand fully about faith, but all the main things I do. And those main things are enough because they're solid, they're verifiable, they're real. And it's good knowing that they're things that people have been sure of for thousands of years and that as you get to know God, obviously as a real person, it becomes more and more obvious that he's there and that he's acting and that he's not just an idea. So listen to this beautiful poetry. This is from the words of W.Y. Fullerton, who lived between 1857 and 1932. So it's quite a long time ago. And it's a long song. But I love the way it sorts out what we don't know and what we do know and respects the mystery of it because there's something wonderful about mystery. There's something special about knowing that someone's smarter than us and that there are some things our minds can't grasp but that we can know are true anyway. So think about this. I cannot tell why he whom angels worship. I cannot tell why he whom angels worship should set his love upon the sons of men, or why as shepherd he should seek the wanderers to bring them back. They know not how or when. But this I know, that he was born of Mary, when Bethlehem's manger was his only home, and that he lived at Nazareth and laboured, and so the Saviour, Saviour of the world, has come. I cannot tell how silently he suffered, as with his peace he graced this place of tears, or how his heart upon the cross was broken, the crown of pain to three and thirty years. But this I know, he heals the brokenhearted, and stays our sin, and calms our lurking fear, and lifts the burden from the heavy laden. For still the Saviour Saviour of the world, he is here. I cannot tell how he will win the nations, how he will claim his earthly heritage, how will he satisfy the needs and aspirations of East and West, of sinner and of sage. But this I know, all flesh shall see his glory, and he shall reap the harvest he has sown. And some glad day, his sun will shine in splendour when he, the saviour, saviour of the world, is known. I cannot tell how all the lands shall worship when at his bidding every storm is stilled, or who can say how great the jubilation when all our hearts with love for him are filled. But this I know, the skies will sound with rapture sorry, it will sound his praises, 10,000 thousand human voices sing. And earth to heaven and heaven to earth will answer, at last the saviour, the saviour of the world is king. Hmm. Say no more.